And I want you to see how this defense reacts. As you can see, there's just nothing covering this guy. He's got at least 10 yards of space by the time I throw the ball to all three defenders. This time, this defender follows the entire way. No matter where this receiver is going to go, this defender is going to follow. As you can see right here, I maybe could have squeezed it in that window, but I have to hold it until it's enough separation. And by the time I do, this defender cuts the ball off for an interception. And technically, it's the same defense, but we're getting very different results. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. If you're struggling with defense in College Football 25 or Madden 25, there's a good chance that you're doing one of the three things I'm going to show you guys today wrong. Because in my opinion, playing defense is actually pretty easy, and I have a lot of videos out that support that. As I recently put out a video of me using one of the worst teams in the game and shutting down some of the best teams in the game using the philosophy that I'm going to show you guys today. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you need more help with more money plays, you can download any of my eBooks instantly. Send them by Click the links in the description or the top end comment. Now, in that video that I mentioned, and pretty much every video that I've been playing, whether it's Madden or college football this year, I've been using the same defense, which is the cover three match. And I noticed that a lot of people are struggling with this defense for a couple of different reasons because they don't necessarily understand the system of matching principles. And I'm going to try to go over that today, starting with zone drops. Now, for my first tip, we're going to go over what's probably the biggest question or the question I get the most in my comment section, which is in my gameplays. What do I set my zone drops to? Number one, we're running match coverage. So if you're gonna run match coverage, you don't wanna set your zone drops to anything. You're gonna wanna leave these to default. Typically, you only set your zone drops in match coverage if you're trying to run a traditional cover three drop or something of that nature. Uh, in match coverage though, you wanna leave these off because setting these to anything, if I set them to zero, if I set them to you know 30, whatever, it's going to completely shut off the matching principles. Now, going back to the regular screen, another mistake that I think a lot of people make is they don't know the difference between cover three match and cover three regular. Cover three match looks like this, where you have these light purple, um, you know, these light purple uh, flat zones, where if I go to a cover three regular, you're gonna see they're much darker. So now I'm gonna show you guys the difference in how cover three match and cover three regular cover. And I'm gonna switch over to the offensive side of the ball to do that. And I'm gonna use a play that has both a crossing route that can threaten the seam, as well as a corner route that can threaten the outside. So we're gonna pick the scissors out of the five wide receiver set. So this is your regular cover three. This is a defense here where it's gonna be non-matching. These, these flats to the outside are basically just gonna worry about corner routes. They're not gonna worry about anything else. And you'll see based off of that right away that this Y receiver is gonna get wide open right up the middle. I mean, that's a very easy uh, seam beating route. And I want you to see how this defense reacts. As you can see, there's just nothing covering this guy. He's got at least 10 yards of space by the time I throw the ball to all three defenders. Now let's go back to the menu and let's compare that reaction to what a cover three match would do. And you'll see this time the result is going to be much different as the defender will follow. And you can see he follows all the way to the point where I have to throw an interception. And that's because this time, this defender follows the entire way. No matter where this receiver is going to go, this defender is going to follow. As you can see right here, I maybe could have squeezed it in that window, but I have to hold it until it's enough separation. And by the time I do, this defender cuts the ball off for an interception. Next up, we're going to attack the corner route. We're going to switch plays. We're going to go to the slot corner because I want a specific zone coverage to, uh, to address this. And the only way to do that is if it's the slot receiver. So we're going to pick the slot corner. We're going to go back to cover three sky on defense. And you're going to see here, I'm going to go ahead and do the, your, your typical trick of just putting the B receiver on a streak to pull back the zone to try to get the RB route underneath. And you can see here that he gets open, even though this is what the uh, curl flats is supposed to cover. And you can see here, the guy in front of him is supposed to be the curl flat. He's supposed to drop back into that area and take this throw away, take away the, uh, you know, the outside uh, corner routes, which is really what he's trying to do here. But I guess because there was somebody underneath and the, um, the, the hook zone over the top kind of matched, he basically drops down. But either way, this guy was never covered. This entire play, I could have dodged that up this entire time as we get another easy completion on really what the curl flat is designed to, de to defend, which is going to be these corner routes. It still doesn't defend the corner route. Now let's compare that exact same uh, route to cover three match. We switched over to cover three match. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing, although I don't really don't have to. I'm gonna put the B route on a streak and you'll see how this flat is gonna match. He's gonna be all over that and there's nothing I can do to get that play open because once again, he falls all the way to the sideline. And you can see now that we switch defenses to a better cover three match, you can see how he basically just mans this guy up the entire way and takes this route away all the way to the sideline, giving me no throwing window at all. 
Now, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, you can just go to your uh, flats and you can change your curl flats to 15 or 20 to take away those routes. But that only works if you know exactly what the route is. And I already showed in a previous example that this here, setting my zone drops, is not going to take away, it's not going to answer everything. So let's go ahead and let's pick Cover 3 Sky again. We picked the exact same play on offense. Let's see if that zone drop flat drops back to the right depth. You can see right there, that's a short corner route, so it drops underneath. I know a lot of people like to set their flats to 20, but based on the fact that you're going back too far, now this route's just getting wide open underneath that. And to be honest, if you're setting your flats in this game, it's just a natural counter to just basically shorten or custom stem these routes even shorter. So if I know somebody's dropping back too far, I can just easily hit this and now you have nothing but space once again. So setting your zone drop flats is not the answer. Meanwhile, if I want to drop my uh, my custom stem on a cover three match all the way down to zero the same way, it's not going to matter because you can see this guy just jumps it. He just plays it no matter how short it is or how deep it is, he's going to play it the same way. If I want to drop this all the way back, say my opponent's running 15 yard flats, I can drop it back to 20 or 25. But when it comes to matching, I don't have to do any of that because he's going to he's going to match it the entire way regardless. As you can see right there, he is with him stride for stride. There's no openings. But the matching principles aren't just the curl flats. It's not just the corner routes it's not just the routes outside it'll also match when it comes to your hook curls which is going to be very important when it comes to plays like the all go here so i'm going to pick that and then on defense once again we're going to start off with uh, regular cover three sky now when it comes to cover three sky once again no matching principles here you can see how this route just gets open right right over the top right over the middle uh, when it comes to the hook zones but that's just you know there's just a lot of holes when it comes to playing against plays like this to me the a route obviously is the most is the most obvious as he's getting right over the level of the linebackers so once again a lot of people think you just don't you just don't have the right zone drop adjustments you got to change and move your zone drops back but once again you're guessing once you set your zone drops then if you set them back to 20 or whatever you can throw underneath or you can extend the route there's any number of things you can do to beat that so let's go ahead and let's go back to that play only this time on defense we're going to go back to cover three match and you're going to see how these linebackers are once again going to turn and run with these receivers to the point where they're really not going to get open the exact same way now if you are running cover three match and every once in a while you have a busted coverage where receivers just wide open running you know down the field with nobody covering them you may think that that's a glitch in the actual coverage but it's really not it's actually a glitch in how you're using in this defense so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that again i'm gonna show you guys an example there is one play in particular that i notice a lot of people go to whenever i'm using this deep this defense and that play is something like this here the y corner whenever you run cover three match like this against a three trip set like we have here with three wide receivers to one side you got to understand how the matching principles are going to work this deep zone here which most people imagine will always be back there will always drop back and take away any deep throws he's going to man match this cor this receiver in front of him no matter what route he runs if he runs a short route of five yards he's going to drop down and take that away regardless of what the diagram looks like he's not going to cover a deep zone same thing with this seam flat we have a we have a receiver in front of him he's going to match this receiver and follow him all around the field same thing with the hook curl his job is going to be to man match this tight end or receiver i'm not really sure which one it is but he's going to match him throughout the entire play so if you're on this guy and you're thinking i'm going to cover middle here and take away any crossing routes you just left that guy wide open so if you're thinking man why did that guy why did this defense blow the coverage why wasn't the deep corner back there he wasn't there because it was supposed to be you so if you are taking the wrong guy or using the wrong guy, you're going to see how that guy's going to get wide open. And we'll go ahead and run the play one time like this, just so you can see what that looks like. You're going to see how these other guys are going to man match, and this guy's going to get wide open outside even though he didn't catch it, because technically that's my responsibility. So you have two choices here. You could either user this guy yourself, which I'll try to do on the next play, as I know the play already, and you can see he's not going to go out there because I know that that's my responsibility since I understand the matching coverages. Or you can let it go and let it be handled by itself by using this guy here. I'll only have three pass rushers, but I'm not going to interrupt any of the matching principles. A lot of people are using the wrong guy in the wrong area, and that's why the matching principles don't work. As you can see right here, the cornerback drops down, the corner route wasn't open, and everything gets covered. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see gameplay of me using this defense in action and obviously having a lot of success, I'll have that popping up on screen. And other than that, until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.